While the world slept, a nation of designers remained awake. It was way past midnight. Twenty-one smoke breaks passed one in the morning, but they had to stay back for this one. No losing if you aren't snoozing. Besides, nine to five is an unregistered immigrant on the sovereign soil of advertising. Forget not, a brief is a brief no matter when it's clocked in. They had to give it a shot. It was there it had to be sniffed, bitten into, pulled down. As it turned out, the brief was brief. In the interest of consumer belief, make a tricolour without the green. The art directors bit their knuckles. The copywriters chuckled, naturally. But it had to be. The suggested colour palette was saffron and white. Not a sickle moon of green in sight. A new brand identity, apparently, could set things right. They were to break them apart, the saffron and the white, and mix them, untwine the yoke of the nation, undo the accord between yellow and orange, deconstruct the albumin republic into lost DNA strands of blue, red and black. Not a spittle of green in sight. What imbalance was left, the makeover will write. The colour scheme had to be tight. The parent shades of green, therefore, were a part of the design blight. And so the crusade cults of blue and yellow had to be cast into the night. No green, not even the petri dish of verdure. But orange, red and black for sure. Orange for the low-born sun overhead. Unseen, untouched, unheard. Red for menstrual blood. Unclean. Unclaimed, uninvited, black for the intellectually demented. In that order, behind palisades of barbed borders, what if that spoke to wheel? The planet thought aloud from the far right of the huddle. They decided it would be a model. Now unblued, the spoke to wheel was to be unhinged, unwed. Twenty-four grinning teeth, deracinated, redistributed. That was to be the new spin. An ungreened tricolour with a toothless grin. Today they will visualise it. Tomorrow a nation will pitch in.